just thought you guys want to know that Hilton doesn't really care about their guests. Hey guys, Scott here. Hold on. This isn't coffee, by the way. I know that's almost a prerequisite in YouTube. You have to like coffee. I maybe am the only YouTuber who doesn't like coffee. Let me know if there's anyone else out there who's not a coffee drinker. This happens to be orange juice. Sorry for the delay in posting of videos. Last week was a crazy week. All right, so I'm in Hoboken, New Jersey. Hoboken? Oh, I'm dying again. I am headed to New York. I parked my car here. I'm gonna leave it here the whole week. I'm not going home because I am working two jobs. Oh, this week is gonna be a bit exhausting, but sometimes you just gotta do that to make the money, especially when you're a freelancer. That's what you gotta do. Street. Now I'm gonna catch the F train of the 42nd and get to work. Almost there. Quick walk to work and uh, start this long day. This video is supposed to be about what that's like. Working double shifts, being away from home, all of that. But then, about, on about the third day, this happened. It's the middle of the week and it's catching up to me. It's what I set out to do. I gotta live up to my promises and uh, follow this through to the end. Hopefully when I hit that bed tonight, I am out. It is 2 a.m. and for some reason this hotel has decided to put in tiles in the lobby. I'm staying on the second floor and it is right below me. It sounds like they are hammering on the ceiling. Bullshit, Doubletree. Bullshit. Bullshit, Hilton. Bullshit. There should be no way you're hammering five tiles at 2.03 in the morning when people are trying to sleep. This room is not free. I'm paying a lot of money for this room, and I'm not going to be able to sleep. Uh, last night was not a good night. I have to say, Doubletree at, and Hilton, uh, big fail. Having your lobby construction going on at three o'clock in the morning, and banging tiles, that was not the way to go. Uh, there's working hours and then there's sleeping hours and you have guests here that are paying good money and having construction in the lobby all night is not cool. So big thumbs down to Hilton and Doubletree for your hours of operation. I mean, re do your reconstruction now when people are awake, when people are out of the building and, and people who, who can get out. After an 18 hour workday, which I had yesterday, uh, I just wanted to go to bed, not be calling the front desk, asking when, uh, when the construction is gonna stop. You know, bringing me up earplugs was nice and all, but it's not the, uh, it's, it's not the solution. You should stop working by 9 or 10 p.m. the latest. That gives you a good 12 hours to work on your hotel. So I'm just gonna say if that happens again tonight, we're gonna have a serious issue. Uh, because I'm paying money, that room's not free. That is pay I'm paying hard earned money and I wanna sleep after the kind of day that I'm having. And I'm sure everybody else on the second floor wants to sleep too. You need to not work when people should be sleeping. That's all I'm going to say about that. 
So when I called down with the complaint for the noise, they were like, well, there's nothing we can do. We don't know when it's gonna end. I can send you some earplugs. Earplugs. That was Hilton and Doubletree's solution to the noise problem was tough sh Here's some earplugs. Good luck with that. Hilton doesn't really care about their guests. The corporations really don't, bottom line, don't care about their customers. They just care about your money. So they ran my credit card. They got their money. It wasn't a discounted rate. Nobody said anything about any construction. And I think Hilton, when you're doing construction, you keep people out of the rooms that are going to hear the noise. That's just common courtesy and is a pretty crappy way to uh, treat your guests. Hilton, I give a big thumbs down to the way you treated our guests at Doubletree. Management there, big thumbs down. Very disappointed. I will think twice about staying at Hilton Properties and I will ask the front desk if there's construction going on when I check in. That will be now a thing that I have to do to my checklist. I did get an email. Let me just say, I did get an email saying, we hear your concerns. Here's 20,000 rewards points to your account. Okay, 20,000 rewards points sounds like a lot, but a room is about 69,000 rewards points in, in New York City. When you check into a hotel, ask them if they're doing construction because they really don't give a shit if you sleep or not. They just want your money. I paid for a bed to sleep in and I couldn't sleep in it. So I feel like I got ripped off. Sorry for the rant. We'll get back to more positive, happy videos soon. Uh, I just had to get this out of my system. That's it, that's the end of that. All right, again, thanks for subscribing. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and ring the bell and we'll see you next time. That's a wrap.